Remember when you were seven years old and the world seemed like a magical place? Christmas, 365 days a year. You sat in wonder as things just passed you by. And you're wondering, what was that? If you'd been sitting beside me on a snowy, wintry day in 1956, as I was driven home from a music lesson on a Sunday morning, you would have seen the fields on the side. You would have seen the piles of snow all around. And as my father, driving the car, approached a railroad crossing, you would have seen a freight train go whizzing past. And then you would have felt as the car slowly inched closer and closer and closer. And then all of a sudden, the whole world went by at 100 miles an hour. And the next thing I knew, I was crawling out of the back window, bawling my eyes out. The car was a total wreck. The only thing that worked was the radio. I had bumps and bruises. <coughs> I cut my face on a shard of glass from the rear, the rear window. My father was unharmed. This was before the days of seatbelts. Mm -hmm. And then I remember being lifted up. And then the world went by at a much slower pace for a while. And all of a sudden it crashed down vertically. And then I was up again. And that's the first lesson that I remember from a seven-year-old is watch the world go by with a sense of wonder of a child. And things will not be so bad. Now what happened was my father, who was unhurt in the crash, broke his ankle when he slipped as we were hitchhiking home. That was the only extent of the injury. The extent of my injuries bumps and bruises that caused temporary distress, a cut on my cheek that one inch higher might have taken out an eye. And so when I think back on that, that's the second lesson from a child. Sometimes you're really lucky, but luck can be a fickle thing. So I was saved from the big catastrophe and yet fell down and had a serious cut. All in all, I was doing pretty well. Now, after I, I was older, I was told what happened <clears throat> at home. My father managed to hitchhike home, and we called the county police, because we were outside of the city, and they came. And they were interviewing him about what happened, you know, the train, the car, and, you know, etc. And after a little while, the state trooper turned to my father and said, Well, did you know the man in the car? My father said, Well, it was, it was me and my son. We were in the car. The state trooper said, Well, we'd better get back out to that field because they have a search party that's looking for the bodies. And so that's the third lesson, <clears throat> looking back, from a seven-year-old. Always try to see something from the other person's perspective. From the state trooper's perspective, my father was a witness who had seen this horrible accident. From my father's perspective, the state trooper was asking him about what had happened to him. Neither one really understood the perspective from which the other person was coming. And so if you think back, reminisce, if you will, to your times as a child, there's a gold mine of valuable lessons, and not just the ones that were taught in school or Sunday school,
the ones that we get from life itself, sometimes you're really lucky, but luck can be fickle. Watch the world go by with the wonder of a seven-year-old child. And always try to see things from the other person's perspective. Mr. Toastmaster.